Hello everyone! Welcome to Cuckmere Herbs Coding Class. You might have seen that video from Two Minute Papers that came out a while ago about how everyone can make deepfakes now. He talks about a little bit how it works and the implications of the paper, but he doesn't explain how you can do it yourself. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You don't need a graphics card. You don't need any kind of powerful computer. You could probably even do this on your phone if you really wanted. It's super easy. Let's get started. All right, so click the link in the description, and this will take you to a lovely Google Colab made by the people who wrote the paper, which you use to run their AI. If you wanted, you could run these commands on your own computer, and they would work, but it's easier just to use the Colab because you don't need a graphics card. So the first thing you need to do is just run this command at the top. Hit run anyway if it asks you. Never did that for me before. Once you've run that, run the next one. Now run the next one and click the link that it gives you. Reminder to me in the editing to block out all of these except for this one. Click on your Google account, hit allow, and then copy that code right there. Close the tab paste it in there and press enter. Now we wait and that is done. Now it says here add this folder to your drive. Click that link. You should get this folder. Find these two files voxadbcpkpath.tar and the other one with the exact same file name. No clue why there's two. Don't ask me. I'm, I don't know. Right click them. Click on make a copy. Copying two files. Copy two files to my drive. Awesome. So now that they're here in your drive, you can make a new folder. Let's call it Deep Fake Video. I'll put a dash in it to make it easier. So once you've got that new folder, grab these two files that you took from the shared folder, put them into Deep Fake Video. Now rename them both so that neither of them has copy of in the name. So just delete copy of there and right click this one, rename, and delete copy of there. Awesome. Now go back to here and on this other, this code block, what you want to do is change first dash order dash motion dash model to whatever you called your folder. So I'm going to call it deep fake dash video and call this one also deep fake dash video and then leave these two file names alone for now. Now go to deep fake dash video, hit new, file upload, and you're going to upload your two clips. One needs to be a square photograph. If, if the photograph you're not using is not square, crop it square, it has to be square, of somebody's face, or it could be a cartoon character's face. It can be a photograph of basically anything with a face, and some footage, real video, of somebody's face, it needs to be stabilized around their face and cropped to 256 by 256 pixels. Unfortunately, this doesn't work very well with high resolution images, but it's still impressive. It's still pretty cool. So once you've got your two videos or your two files, one is a video, one is an image. I'm using this stock photo that everyone knows of and this stock video, which might be slightly less well known. You can't see it on this Google Drive, but I'll play it over here. Now, simply change the one that ends in .png to the name of your image. So, herald.jpg for me, and the second one to the name of your video, part1.mov for me, and then hit run. This one's going to take a little bit, but once it's finished down here, 
you should see your image and your video side by side. Oh, look, there it is. My image and my video side by side. So what's going to happen next is the AI is going to take the face expressions from this video and put them onto this image. Now, right here, you're going to want to change again first order motion model to the name of your folder. So I'm calling it deep fake dash video. That's just for me though. You can call it whatever you want and hit run. Now wait. It worked. Okay. Now finally hit run on this last one. This one gives you a percentage bar so you can get excited while you watch it do. Mine's a pretty short clip, so it processes quick. If you have a longer one, it'll take a little more. And there it is. So as you can see, it didn't really do a great job with his teeth, but I mean, kind of works. In some cases, it'll work a lot better than in others. And then also, you have the option to use a slightly different method that they have developed to. That's their default example. And you can just hit run on this one if you want to see if the other method works better in your case. I've found that this method usually works fine, but because his teeth came out a little funny, let's see if it works with the other method. Ah, it does not work with the other method very well. His nose is gone. But anyway, now you can see that it it changes things <laughs> a, a little bit. Yeah, you probably want to stick with the first method. But anyway, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch. And remember to look both ways before you cross.